a holiday today and it's early in the morning. Everybody's still asleep. I got up early to do some batch cooking and then the house was a mess. Well, I came home. We came home last night and I went straight to bed. So nothing was done to tidy up last night. So we have to get it done. I prefer to get it done before I start my batch cooking. So here is um the mess. Counter is filled. Sink is filled. And we need to get all of that cleaned up. Some composting stuff. We have a bag of extra bag of garbage because probably the garbage bin is filled. The stove and everything is, is just is just messy. It's a big mess this morning. So it's time to get cleaning. I I prefer when I'm cleaning to not get all dressed up because then you get hot and sweaty and I just have to be twice. So I will dress comfortably for my cleaning and then I will um shower after. So just trying to put some order to this couch and get baby stuff in place. And then we move along. So the plan for today is batch cook all of my all of the produce we got the night before and it's easy to get it done now because everybody's asleep everybody's still asleep it's early it's it's early but if you look through the window you can still see the daylight but it's early morning and yeah I don't usually do voiceovers, but I really didn't feel like talking, so I just let the camera do the recording, and then I move about and do my cleaning. And this, this couch is used quite often, so the cushions need fluffing. This is the um, TV couch. Well, this whole entertainment center, so to speak, is where we keep a lot of our books. And this is not all of our books because we have a, a four shelf, a, a bookshelf with four shelves in the back. And that is loaded. And so usually this is the drop it spot and they have to clean up. They just put everything down right here. And this, this is a big mess. This is a huge mess. I've been watching it for a long time. And, and it, this needed, um, this is the kind of cleaning that you need to make up your mind to do. So we've been just cleaning around it. And there we go. And this side is where they drop all their papers. All of them are actively drawing and coloring and so on. So when they pack up, they just put it in there. So this is a job, a huge job.
I don't know if you have this many books because I'm a teacher, but whenever I find some kind of a workbook, textbook, I will collect and then when they go to school, they have a whole box of books. So every time they go, they can take from the box. Well, that's not now, but that was just last year. So we are always collecting books. The library at my work, they were giving away a lot of books. And of course, we collected a lot of books there too. I think all the books within Michaela's A Dreams, she has read. So most of the books that is within Michaela's A Dreams, she's already read them all. And the little ones have some workbooks that they read too. So these books come in handy. They like to read on the toilet. I can't, I can't stress. I can't get upset at that, so to speak. Because the reading, so if it happens on the toilet, I'll take that. It's reading either way. And they're also members of the library. Gabriella's drawings. I'm not sure you can see clearly. This looks so much better already. Oh, those are new books. Brand new books. Michaela Retro, she got a... She was blessed with a Judy Moody series and so she's read them all already. Look at that, books in line and in order. Finally, after a long time. And the big plastic bag of garbage. So it was raining, and obviously when it's raining, everybody wants to sleep late, so. It rained all night. And it was raining that morning as well. And it continued into the morning, I should say. to the kitchen. So I have this bag of um, compost that I'm taking downstairs to my compost bin. And if you notice the backyard one I started um, weeding and cleaning. And after this video, I think it's the same day or the next day, he pressure washed the fence. You're looking at some of my seasonings. I'm, I walk around the long way so that I don't get wet. And this is the joke. Went down to the compost bin <laughs> or tub to put my compost in. Look at that. It's the wrong thing. <laughs> this one was not a compost. This one was not for compost, even though it was skin. It was like some big fat watermelon skin. So I was like, all right, I had to pack this up and take it to the garbage. Well, I didn't take it to the garbage immediately because it was raining heavily. I didn't have an umbrella, so I left that there. Yuck. Yeah. I don't like my hands to be dirty for too long with certain things. It's a little gross for me. I know I said it's raining, but here I am watering plants because on this side, 
the rain doesn't come in on this side so these were dry these needed watering and my little cauliflower was coming there and I have a pumpkin that sprouted in my first compost bin I mean, I'm walking the long way to the back steps just to avoid getting wet My voice sounds a little raspy. It's early in the morning. I got up. I got up a little early. But because this house is always lively with five children, there's always noise. So to do a voiceover, I have to either sit in the car quietly or do it very early in the morning. And when I tried it in the car, somebody came knocking on the window because they realized that mommy was not around. So rather than you watching me wash all the dishes, I washed the dishes already and I'm now ju just drying and putting them away so that I have some more space and I can get uh, the kitchen prepared for the batch cooking. I don't know, how do you do it? Do you wash your pots first or do you wash your dishes first? I just wash. I usually do my dishes first off. And then I, uh, I do the pots after. Making progress or a bottle rack some cups for the children to use throughout the day and I have a potato that is beginning to sprout and I want to try my hands at planting potatoes so you see me using soap powder because I was out the dish liquid and I forgot to stop and get some but for those of you who've been with us for a while, you know that I, we did soap out on our dishes for a while while I was pregnant. That's my custard that I've already started for the morning. So this is me having um, a funny moment at work where we had to just dress funny. And that's it for this video until the batch cooking. Okay? Oh, yeah, hold on, you're on video there. Bye, like, subscribe, share.